Welcome back, Modified Crew. I am your daily driver, Mark Herman, and today, if you want to understand Copart's auto auction process, you're in the right place. We are starting right now. All right, guys, here we are on Copart.com, and the auctions are about to start. They start at 12, and it's 11.57, and uh, basically, there's a couple ways you can get to the auctions. There's always going to be like a green banner here, and that's pretty much all the auctions that are currently live and uh or about to start so you can go through the auction list and then narrow it down yeah since i'm close to los angeles i'm going to do the los angeles ones and then also it's going to show the later auctions as well uh another way that you can do it is pick your location like we have done in the past and then just go to uh, los angeles here uh, right here all right uh well first off it's going to say uh what time the sale is then it's going to say the sale name and then it's going to have the lane and then the number of items. And that's the number of vehicles that are going to be sold in that auction. Now, the difficult thing is all these auctions do run at the same time. So if you have two vehicles in separate auctions, you're going to have to pick priority and or run multiple auctions at the same time. OK, uh, what a lane is, is basically listed right here. So it's listed right here. It has your item numbers and you can look at your item numbers under the description and then the condition. So. It'll say run and drive lots A, rental cars A, motorcycles A, you know, pretty much most of what they offer is going to be in lane A. And then in uh, B, it's run and drive lots, salvage lots, and then salvage lots are going to be C, D, and E. So basically, that gives you kind of a, a loose breakdown of the vehicles that are going to be listed. But realistically, if you have a specific vehicle in mind, you're just going to go in that lot and wait for it. So let's just go ahead and pick lane A because it's going to be most likely the one that tends to get the most action so you can join the live auction here and it's about to start in about 24 seconds okay so just to let you know this breakdown they split off 30 minutes before the auction starts so this auction starts at 12 you can see what lanes these are in starting at uh 30 minutes prior to it all right guys let's go ahead and just make a quick tutorial on how the auction works on copart so we're, we're at the auction list right here and let's go ahead and explain everything on the auction list for you. So this is the list. We are in California, Los Angeles. Lane A tends to be the most popular lane. And this is the amount of participants. So this is how many people are actually watching this auction right now. The more participants you have, the more competitive the bidding process is going to be. So you really want to kind of try to get in auctions that are less. A is usually going to be the highest. And then as you go further down, it's going to get lower. But uh, as auctions die down, let's say A finishes and then B and C are still available, you're going to see a real ramp up in numbers as the auctions are ending. This is how many units are left, all right, right here. And then you can expand right here to see the pictures of the vehicle. So you can scroll through, or if you want to click on the photos, you can do that as well, all right? So right here, this is going to show you basically that the vehicle's on reserve. And what that means is even though you win the auction for 8,400, it has to meet the reserve amount of the car. So they have a predetermined amount. You cannot see what the reserve is, but when you get close to it, it will let you know it says uh, minimum bid uh, or reserve is close, and then this will disappear and they'll turn into a pure sale. So they actually haven't hit the reserve. We can, you know, I'll continue to explain it to you and see if it actually hits this. All right, so this is basically the location, all the info on the car, um, which I've covered in my last video when you search for cars. This is the previous bids and where they're bidding. This is not always where the actual individual is. Let's say you have a company that's registered in Arizona or a broker that's re registered in Arizona, even though you're in California, it'll show you're in Arizona, even though you're not. So just take that loosely. It doesn't really have any bearing on anything, but you know, just something to pay attention to. If you want to turn the music on, which gets you all hyped up and, uh, you know, it kind of gets you your heart, you know, racing when you're bidding, uh, it's right here. You can turn the music on and off and uh, you can turn the notification noises on, on and off here. You, so you will see the auction basically on this timer. It resets every time a bid happens, okay? So anytime somebody places a bid, the timer does reset. It usually does move pretty quickly until you get a very popular vehicle. Uh, we're gonna see if the on reserve amount uh, disappears, but after the timer runs out, you'll see something like bonus time. 
and uh, bonus time is just a little extra time that get allows anybody to get their bibs in. So just because it it runs out and then goes to bonus time, you you got to wait for bonus time to run out sometimes. All right. So right here is the next vehicles down. You can scroll down the list to find your car if you want. Um, but pretty much this is the list of everything that's in lane A, right? And it gives you kind of a snapshot about the vehicle. So the next one up is gonna be a pure sale. That means that there's no reserve and whatever the car goes for, that's it. You win it for that amount. And that's the vehicles that I tend to aim for because you get the best pricing. They have no predetermined amount. And you know, if you get a great deal, you get a great deal. On reserve, if you get a great deal, you don't typically get a great deal because they're gonna counter and they have you know a certain amount that they want you to hit before you, you know, get the vehicle. So I hold out for pure sales. The only thing is when you're looking for pure sales, they could say pure sale until the day of the auction and then they'll change it over to a reserve price. So it's kind of misleading. So if you have a vehicle picked out, pay attention to this, it might change anywhere till the day of. So you want to confirm that. All right. Pretty much if you want to see the vehicle that's next or want to scroll ahead, if you know, you know your car isn't anywhere near, you can go ahead and click the lot number and it'll open up other uh, tab here. Okay. And then you can scroll through. It's like, oh, you know what? I might be interested in that town and country. All right. So the auction is still going. Pretty much they have everything listed on minutes all right each car is given pretty much a minute for the auction it doesn't it's not typically a minute it usually fluctuates and more often than not it's less than a minute but they just do that to give you a rough idea of where it lands uh right here r stands for runs and drives m is going to be that there is a market guide report for it uh f is going to be a featured vehicle o is off-site sales which means it's not on copart's property um these are all runs and drives there's going to be other ones that are enhanced which means they do not run and drive they uh they don't even start pretty much and uh the other one will be s which is engine start program it means that the car will start but it does not run or drive forward or backward and when it says runs and drives, it does not mean it's drivable and ready to go. It just means that the car was able to start and move forward and backward under its own power. It doesn't mean it can drive on streets or highway ready or anything like that. Just something to make note of. Car is continued going. Most cars tend to run out of time pretty quickly, you know, you know, within a few seconds, but popular ones that people are really competitive over tend to go on for a few minutes. So. I usually have this on my phone, so you can bid anywhere you want, which is nice. So you don't have to be stuck at a computer. So it's great that Copart's made it very friendly that you can actually just bid on the car anywhere, anytime. As the auctions close down, you're gonna have, bonus see, time. here's the bonus time, it just came on. So this is the bonus time, and then after the bonus time runs out, then the auction closes. So right now we're at 27 to 50. And then Sold on approval. He got it, it on the reserve. So we'll go ahead and uh, continue to see this car. This one's a pure sale. So whatever this town and country goes for, he got it. But uh, what I was about to say is as the, the auctions end for each auction lane, you're going to see the other lanes get a big jump in participants. So if you have a car that's at the end of one auction you may have a spike in participants right before your car rolls up yeah that's pretty much an explanation of how the auction works on copart next video up i'm going to show you guys the uh, best ways to have your vehicle oh shipped God. and the process of having your vehicle picked up if you want to do that yourself as well okay so that will be out should be out this week as well after that guys i'm so excited to show you the build that i have gotten from copart and rebuilt and we're gonna start those videos next week. This week, we will finish up the tutorials and then you can enjoy the good stuff because the rebuilds are awesome to watch and it's nice to see a crashed car turn into a rebuilt car. And I use them but a bucket of tools in the dirt, guys. I mean, it doesn't get any more bare bones than that. And normally I have a garage with a bunch of tools and everything like that. But my current situation, I don't have my garage and a lot of my tools are in storage. And if you do like that, please hit that subscribe button because that's what we're going to be covering 
for the foreseeable future and pretty much any other builds that we are going to take on on this channel. It's great having you guys and I appreciate it and I will see you on the next one.